What you're about to watch is an excerpt from a longer video training with Long Swan, who's one of the Golden Age legends. He's a knee fighter. And in this video, he's showing me how to knee the bag. It's not just how to knee the bag, it's how to do thousands of knees to become a knee fighter. And he was known as just being completely exhausting to fight. So this is really valuable information to be getting from him. If you want to watch the whole video, you can see that in the Patron Muay Thai Library. Link to that is in the description. So he's saying at the end of training, at the end of everything, you've already done pads, you've already clinched, sparred, anything. You come over and you just need the bag. Look at how beautiful his knees on the bag are. You can see the power. You can see how he whips back first. That's that looseness that I was talking about before. And the way he's moving his arms like that, he's showing how your leg kind of comes out but lands center. This bag was hard for me to hold. There's nothing in the top. So he's like, use your forearms, like use your arm strength to hold that goddamn bag. And then I'm not bringing my heel up, but I am getting the kind of um, swing of kicking the leg and bringing the hip, the hip back. But look at how tight he wants it. And Kun Pan, the, the owner of the gym behind me, you can see him smiling because he knows how important that tucked leg is. So, as a knee fighter, having this endless endurance and doing thousands of knees on the bag makes sense. Not only do you have to do a thousand knees on the bag, he wants a thousand teeth. So if you start at 500 knees, you start with 500 teeth, 600 knees, 600 teeth. This is an interesting thing about being a knee fighter and learning teeth, is that the teeth is the same for any style of fighting. It creates distance and it allows you to breathe. So basically you use the teeth either offensively or defensively to keep your opponent at a distance that you are manipulating. So you are in control of where that distance is. His teeth tend to be offensive, so they're moving forward and he's like getting his opponent back so that he can close that distance. Whereas a fighter like Samar or like a female fighter who doesn't like to be close, they'll use the teeth while going backwards to keep their opponent off of them. But you do it both ways. You're just manipulating your opponent's distance with the teeth. But it has to be powerful for one, but more important than powerful is the timing on it. So when you're juggling a bag like this, the important thing to focus on is trying to not let it twist. See how it's twisting? Because I'm not hitting the same spot over and over again. You're learning timing and accuracy by doing hundreds and then thousands of teams like this. It Hands up, baby. builds leg strength. He, at the beginning of the session, was talking about how one of the big differences between old school Muay Cao and modern Muay Cao is the lightness on the feet, but that this entire operation requires so much leg strength. So, ties, when they're running 10K in the morning, they're thinking leg strength. When you're doing knees and teeps on the bag, you're thinking leg strength. And you'll feel it. Like, if you're used to doing 100 teeps at the end of training and you go up to 500 teeps or even just 200 teeps, you'll feel the soreness in your legs and where that is really fast. So what you just saw is how a couple thousand of those turns you into the kind of fighter that the legends of the golden age call completely exhausting to fight. <laughs> I had a lot of fun training with Long Suan. I was very nervous about training with him and he fulfilled all of the things that I was nervous about and was really awesome. So if you want to see that entire video, he teaches me a lot of different things. He has really cool, strong technique. Um, the link to that is in the description in the patron Muay Thai library. 
and I uh, hope you guys like it.